ready? Move. We're here today to perform our RIT drills for West Metro Fire Rescue. Ready, move. RIT stands for uh, Rapid Intervention Team. Uh, what that is is a team that is specially set aside by command outside of any sort of fire incident that is ready to go in and perform a downed firefighter rescue. We have all of our crews that are capable of performing the RIT skills, but uh, we rely on our tower companies as well as our truck and rescue to have that next level set of skills, which is what we're laying the baseline for today. Ready? And we were performing a downed firefighter rescue coming out of a window. Uh, we were practicing two different lifts. These lifts will work for coming out of basement windows as well as second and third stories. Move! We take the time with the crews to throw different scenarios at them, different ways that they're going to come across the firefighter and need to repackage them and get them ready to perform the window lifts. Good. So what we do in order to repackage a downed firefighter is we convert their SCBA, which is their self-contained breathing apparatus or what they wear in order to breathe in a hazardous environment, and turn that into a full body harness uh, using the waist straps as well as the shoulder straps in order to convert them so that we can drag, pull, and lift and get them into a position to get them out of the building. Another one of the stations that we had in sending the crews through the day is the Denver drill, which is um, named after a downed firefighter uh, in Denver who went down and needed to be rescued out of a window in a very confined hallway with cabinets. Some of the challenges that firefighters are going to deal with the Denver drill is just the confined space, uh, the inability to move around uh, and make access to the downed firefighter. So you have to go in through the window. control your descent in and on top of the firefighter, making sure not to cause any more injury or, or issue and becoming part of the problem. Uh, then you have to negotiate your way on the firefighter, locating the SCBA, doing a conversion, getting them to the window, and then making that final lift to get them up and out. Ready, move. That's good. The final stations that their crews are going through uh, is going to be our Nance drill, which is basically a firefighter down through the floor. Are you guys ready up top? Ready. ready. Okay. When responding to any fire uh, in a residence or a commercial building, uh, there can be structural impingement or fire that's actually burning on structural members that cause uh, the integrity of the floor to be compromised, and firefighters can fall through during that time. We will hang on, man. We train so that we are prepared to respond to the worst case scenario. Uh, more and more studies are showing that you basically, in a high stress situation are going to default to your training. So we train as much as possible in order to get that hands-on tactile experience and muscle memory so that when you find yourself uh, in a high stress situation where you possibly can't see, where you have a, a friend that's gone down in a fire that you're able to respond and actually execute in that situation. I'll bring him towards you guys. So we're just walking there so the belly's on the go. Perfect. Nice. A lot easier, huh? Yeah, way easier, Jill.